YouTubers, it's Michelle, and I'm back today with my WildOrchidCrafts.com design team member submission. Um, I've been on a few design teams um, in the past. It's been quite a while. I find that they're really fun to be on. They uh, make me think outside the box sometimes, which is really fun and exciting. And I just wanted to say how excited and honored and thrilled I would be if I was chosen as one of their design team members. Um, I purchased from them back at the end of last year. And if you look back at some of my videos, you will see my video. You will see that not only was I pleased with the product, but I was also pleased with the shipping time and the price. I don't think that there's a website out there that you can beat their price versus their product. Um, the product is very, very high quality and you get a lot of bang for your buck. So, in honor of them doing their design team submissions, hey, I decided why not throw a party. So, this is my little party. And it's kind of an early congrats, I guess, to all of those who are lucky enough to make their design team. So, you see this cupcake? Looks good, doesn't it? Looks almost good enough to eat. But don't let it fool you because it's not edible. This cupcake has a hidden surprise. But first of all, let me tell you how I made this cupcake. A friend of mine had actually brought in a gift card holder to our local scrapbook store and it was I think back in February and she made it for her husband for Valentine's Day and she was thinking of a clever way to hold a gift card and something that she could give to her husband that wasn't too frilly. So she had come up with this cupcake idea. So I thought it was a really cute idea and after doing some research on both Google and YouTube and finding a few tutorials I came up with this idea and I did a little tweaking of the tutorials so this is my take on the cupcake gift card holder. What I did first is for the base you cut out a circle which is approximately six inches tall or six inches wide and you cut it out of chipboard. Once you've cut your chipboard out then you make 16 slits all the way across. After you've made your 16 slits, you kind of cup it up. And it'll cup up into like a little cupcake shape. Uh, cupcake holder shape. You will then glue the pieces together. And then you will cover it as I did with your favorite designer paper. And I covered mine with my mind's eye, or my mind's eye uh, designer paper, which is one of my favorite designers. And... Then you take a styrofoam ball, which is approximately three inches, and this is what that will look like, just a styrofoam ball, nothing big, and what you will do is you will take that styrofoam ball and you will cut it in half. And then you will take your gift card after you've cut it in half and you will slide it in the middle. Then on the side of the gift card, you'll put a few pop dots on each side and you'll put the two pieces together to where your gift card slides back and forth in the styrofoam ball and you will place it back into the cupcake holder. You'll glue it down and then after you've got it glued down and securely in place, that's when the fun begins and when you start decorating the top of your cupcake. Now. For the first layer of the cupcake, all I did was I took some ribbon and um, I used grow grain ribbon and I just did a straight stitch right in the middle of the grow grain ribbon and I used probably about a yard of ribbon, approximately, and maybe a yard and a half and uh, you do the straight stitch right down the middle and then you pull it tight and once you pull it tight you'll get a ruffled edge as you can see and then you just glue it all the way around your cupcake. So after you've done that, that's when I decided to incorporate my fun stuff from Wild Orchid Crafts. These flowers that you see here are called 
the Old Gold Mulberry Paper Open Roses, and they're size 25 millimeter. And the package that I got was a 25 count, and the item number is FM-00161. And instead of just gluing them on, these flowers, they come with a little uh, wire stem, and instead of taking the stem off, all I did was I just poked them into the cupcake. So if you do give this to someone who likes to craft and they want to take this apart, they could absolutely take these flowers off of here and they could use them on a project. So they're not secure. So what a neat idea. You know, you get twice the, twice the amount of fun out of your product. So, then the next layer, what I did, is I took a piece of cardstock, approximately an inch wide, and I wetted it. And once you wet it, then you take it, and I crumpled mine to give it a little bit of an aged look, or, you know, tattered look. And um, then you do an accordion pleat. You let that sit and dry, or you can take your heat gun like I did and dry it. And then after it dries, then you just glue that on top of your cupcake. And then the final layer, again, I used the Old Gold Mulberry Paper Roses. And then I also used the Mint Green Mulberry Paper Open Roses. And they're also the 25 millimeter size, and they came in the 25 count. And the item number is FM-00166. So, like I said, this is a gift card holder. So you're probably wondering, okay, so let's see how the gift card works. So here on top, I've got my little cherry because no cupcake is complete without a cherry on top, right? So what I did is it was actually a blue bead that I had. And I took the bead and I painted it red. And I then covered it in some glue, dipped it in some glue, and then I rolled it in what I thought was red glitter, but it turned out to be a bright pink glitter. So we have a bright pink cherry on top. And I rolled it in the glitter, and it is attached to a bullnose clip. And if you pull that bullnose clip out of there, there's your gift card attached to the bulldoze clip. So what a really fun way to display a gift card. I know that kids would absolutely love this idea and men and women as well. And like I said, if you give this gift to someone who also likes to craft and you use these type of flowers, as you can see, all it is is... You just take that little stem right there, and it pokes right back in. Voila. So they can use that for multiple purposes. So, like I said, this is for the design team submission for Wild Orchid Crafts. If you have not just, um, checked out their page yet, please, by all means, do so. This is their website right here. They also have a YouTube channel. It's Wild Orchid Crafts. And there's, I think, three design team members already on the design team. And they have made some uh, several different um, projects using the Wild Orchid Crafts products. So definitely check out the YouTube channel as well. And like I said, if you're like me and you love flowers and you love fun embellishments and stuff like that, and you want to get them for an affordable price, definitely check this site out. You will not be disappointed. The price is great, the product is great, and the shipping is extremely fast. So, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and my video. And, like I said, if I was chosen to be on the design team, I would be extremely honored to represent this company because it's a wonderful company. Thanks again, and thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.